I've been out tonight, and you know who else is out? Manchester United. And for fuck's sake, it's just an utter joke. I would have preferred to go out against Michelin. At least then, it wouldn't have been our greatest fucking rivals. And you know what pisses me off even more? It's the fact that... It, <sighs> You just couldn't tell it was Liverpool. Yes, it was better at Old Trafford. We drew 1-1. But why? Why did we left, leave ourselves with a mountain to climb? We played so bad against Anfield as though it was West Brom, Norwich, Sunderland, Newcastle, any of these teams. Not like it was Liverpool, our greatest rivals. And what pissed me off even more, seeing the lineup, Fellaini and Carrick. Herrera didn't even make the 18-man squad. And that pisses me off because there's this bullshit that he picked up a knock according to Louis van Gaal. Fuck off. No, he didn't. All five of our central midfielders are fit. It, it, like, I'm sorry, Herrera didn't pick up an injury. That's a load of horse shit. It's just because he doesn't like Herrera. But all five were fit. Schweinsteiger, Schneidlin, Herrera, Carrick and Fellaini. And the order Van Hal picks them literally is Fellaini. He's his number one midfielder when fit. Proved today. Same as Carrick. All right, he's his number two uh, midfielder. Then it goes Schweinsteiger. Then Schneidlin. Then Herrera. Schneidlin and Herrera and Schweinsteiger. Those three are our best midfielders, and none of them played. And what pissed me off even more, he uses three substitutes on a left back, a right back, and a centre mid. When we need three goals at Old Trafford to progress, it's a fucking joke. We've went out against Liverpool, our greatest fucking rivals in Europa. We've went out of Europe twice this year, and it's a joke. It's a fucking joke. We are Manchester United, and he's driving this club down the fucking drain. We will potentially get overtaken by Liverpool in the league, and it's just in unacceptable it's a fucking joke and you know I just want this season over we're out of Europe yes we have a replay against West Ham in the FA Cup but it's West Ham they're doing really well and then even if we progress we've got Everton in the semi-finals at Wembley and they're doing really well at the minute fair enough if we beat them too I'd expect us to beat Watford or Palace both of whom I think we've beat but it, it's the FA Cup and We've got City next, and yes, we could be one point off them. Otamendi and company are out, but it, it's like Paul Scholes said, should we be happy with fourth and an FA Cup? No, we fucking shouldn't. And oh, it, it's just... I, I just don't understand Van Hal. It just doesn't make things easy for him. When he came to this club, I was delighted. And then you look at his outdated tactics from the 90s. His dumb decisions where he's playing players out of position for no fucking reason. There's blames on injuries and all this shit. But even when we didn't have injuries, when last season you look at it... Di Maria was playing a striker and we had Rooney or Van Persie as a cam. It's just dumb decisions like that that are just confusing the team. You can see it when we play. Fair enough, Rojo, Mata, they had sitters that we should have buried and we could have been 2-0 up, 2-3-0 up, but we weren't. And Martial scored and Coutinho scored and 1-1 uh, is... is it's still not acceptable against Liverpool. It's Liverpool. You have to beat them. And now they're through and they could potentially win Europa. Fair enough, there's other teams like Borussia Dortmund in it. That'll make it difficult. But it's Liverpool and he doesn't understand it. Jürgen Klopp's been at Liverpool for half a season and he understands rivalries. He understands what it means. Manchester United are the enemy. They were his words. Van Gaal just treats it like any other game. And it's unacceptable. And the fact is... We're going to have to accept it for the rest of the season. And that's just that's just the way it is. Oh, seriously, why am I doing this shit? Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm fucked myself. But not, not as fucked as we, we are as Manchester United fans. It's just beyond a joke. Within two years, we've digressed this far. There's no progress. There's fucking 300 million spent. And it just... There's no cohesion, no tactics, no... No nothing, no passion, no desire. It's oh, it's terrible and I can't wait for next season, alright? If Jose Mourinho is not the manager, I will be shocked. Damasio, who is incredibly reliable, has said it will happen. So I'm just going to have to wait it out for that, as are every other Manchester United fan. We're just going to have to keep the faith that we look out and manage to get a world-class coach like Louis, Va like Louis Van Gaal. Did I just say that? Did I honestly just say that? I mean Jose Mourinho to replace Van Gaal, who's living in the 90s. He needs to re retire, look back in his past glories. You know, he's had a brilliant um, career. He's going to have loads of money. Don't feel sorry for Van Gaal. 
he's going to be fine. We need to, like, honestly, Jose Mourinho, as soon as he's in, that'll bring us names. That'll bring us good players, even if we're not in the CL, uh, the Champions League, which we're not going to get. So, <sighs> I just want this season over. Hopefully, we can win a trophy, though. Although, I don't want to be Arsenal, who consistently finish fourth and win a trophy. For this season, considering we haven't won a trophy in about a thousand years, a thousand years, a thousand days, it would be nice if we could win the FA Cup and scrape fourth. I don't have faith that we're going to scrape fourth, but beating City puts us one point behind. But it's unforgivable. No matter how many times you beat Liverpool, four four times I think Van Gaal's won, he's drew one, lost one, but he's lost the key fixture in Europe, which is... It, it's made us go out against our bitterest rivals, and it's just... It's just unacceptable, so th there's no way back for him. If he is in the job next year, oh my god. This would have been way more angrier, but it's like, what, 1, 2 a.m.? I don't know what fucking time it is, but yeah, I, ca I can't be loud. My flatmates are asleep, and uh, yeah, honestly, I am fuming. I'm fucking annoyed, but I'm just going to end this now. We're out of Europe. Thanks, Van Hal, you fucking fraud.